arrow functions is just like your normal functions but with the ex exception works like normal functions but with the exception of a function name so you can refer to it as an anonymous function so for some places you go see say they go they go see, you see say they, they talk about anonymous function so once you see say they, they talk about anonymous function it majorly or most times have to do with arrow function so what is anonymous you know anonymous not just like waiting no gaining yeah you understand so most say like now if i want to do normal function we go print my name or we go print something have you thought say function most say greet abi i'll yes. do something like this then i go say console, console. dot log good afternoon abi yes good now if we run now of course nothing will show because we never call the function yes uh -huh. so we'll call the function greet and then we will run her. so you see we get waiting good afternoon. good afternoon so now if we want to do the same thing for arrow function right yeah first waiting we go watch out for we go like use one we go use um, a variable name we're gonna need a variable name that's one <laughs> two the arrow function see the thing function of you enter this thing imagine <laughs> ah are you serious but you okay. not enter the okay okay then enter comments okay yeah. then enter. <laughs> okay that's true now two i'm going to use one okay yeah. so so you grab one now most of one repeat the same function using arrow function now for arrow function right we'll get something like this depending on waiting you they work on you understand if you get yeah. something like this then this one now this one right this one you they hear me i'm hearing uh -huh. this one like this as you see and so right is necessary if the function is taking no parameter that's if the function no they take any parameter this symbol they extremely necessary you grab and okay. we'll, st uh, we'll still come back to ram then this one is not necessary if the function is taking a single parameter then this is necessary if the function is taking more than a single parameter so now for this one when we say you know they take in any parameter these brackets they extremely necessary you understand okay yes then after this one the next thing you need this one here this is the return symbol so what did this one signify now return you grab okay that's for your arrow function so that's the arrow say, function itself yes that's the arrow function itself so if we want to do an equivalent of this function what we will go do following the steps what we talk what yeah. we need first a variable what 
You did yet? A variable name, yes, yes, a variable so, name. So instead of a function name here, we will go do function greet. Here, we will go get now const greet okay. as a variable. Okay. And we go come equate the greet to our this thing bracket. Remember, we say this is necessary if the function is taking what. What you see? No parameter. No parameter. You de, you de hear me? Then, it's necessary if the function is taking no parameter, right? Okay. Yes. You understand? So now, we can't get this one. Now, what did this one signify? This signifies return. Okay. You understand? So now, console.log good so waiting we don't do hmm. here this is the this is the arrow function this two is where they see here now then be the arrow function okay the parenthesis is to follow this one but this one but yes uh -huh. This is the arrow function. These two, like this, way they see. Okay. okay. This is the arrow function. This one now, we are trying to tell the function that is taking no parameter. Okay. I don't know if you understand me. You know, say this one, right? We go use the name function. Then followed mm. by function name. Yes. Then followed by these two brackets. Yes. Good. So in arrow function, there's nothing like the keyword function. Function. There's yes. nothing like name of function. function what you yes. actually have is a variable to store the value of the function. Yes, okay, okay. But you know, say function. Once you declare function to use them, you need call the function. Yes. So now waiting we we'll go use, we we'll go call be this. We we'll go give us waiting day here. Okay, now remove this one. Okay. Now you see this one. Eh? Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm seeing. These two don't cover up everything here. Okay. You do understand? Yeah. Then this one now, they serve as return. Return what? Return console.log. Good afternoon. But now, even if we run our code, it no go work. Why? Why? Good. This one, we just declare the function. We never call them. Okay. And to call this function, we need use name, column. It's just like you. Like, no matter how person look you, look you, look you, maybe, so far say your eye never jam with your own. You know go turn, look him. Until you call, until you call your name. Yeah. Good. So these arrow functions, now the reason why they call them anonymous functions, because they know, by default, they know get name. This one now, you have you have to attach name to it for it to be a function. But this one, you don't need to attach any name for it to be a function. Yes. You understand? Yeah, yeah. So now why we need create variable? We go fi store any value where this um function, function yes. they give okay. us. You grab? Oh, okay, yes, yes, yes. So in this case, now why we can't say more use const greet? So anything oh. this function is returning, store it inside grid for us. Okay. So now, it means say if we run this thing, right? The value, return value of this function, go be stored inside grid. So for us to know or to know what it is, what is the return value? What we go just do, right? 
we go console.log right greet okay and they come we'll try this one good 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 so you don't grab okay i think you just use that grid with parentheses yeah. inside that one good. because since <laughs> since it is store value of a function because if you check now eh, without that parentheses you understand if yeah. you know now see what it will show you function grid so to yeah. call the function now we can add those parentheses okay so what do you see good afternoon good afternoon you understand well Okay. So if we want given parameter, right? Mm. Most in a one single parameter, we fi exclude the bracket. Then we fi just say name. Then here we fi come say good afternoon, right? Are you come? We fi say good afternoon. Um. Then here name right then here yeah. you know say since it is taking one parameter which is name we feel mm -hmm. now this one at the top you see say this is not necessary if the function is taking a single weighting parameter, parameter. so since they take single parameter no be by force ma put this parameter inside bracket so if you come here come passing gideon then i go run now so moku see what you see good afternoon gideon, good afternoon, gideon. But so far, saying are two of them, I have to put it inside the bracket. Then name the most say like uh uh hobby. Abi. Yeah. So most say good afternoon, Gideon. Your hobby is hobby. So now here I go come add another. Uh, this thing argument to call him hobby if he put football a bit okay so more runner what do you see good afternoon Gideon. your hobby is coding okay so you grab what okay i understand okay you grab number, number one it is necessary if the function is taking no parameter yes it is not necessary if the function is taking is taking a single, a single parameter. parameter. Yes. Okay. And it's, it's necessary if the function is taking more than a single parameter. parameter. Okay. Okay. So you grab one. Uh, I understand. Uh -huh. So why this one they possible? Now the fact say now just one line of code would they use. You understand? That's why we don't need to introduce that coily bracket. Again. You understand? But most say yeah. we want write, most say one write program. We be say bah, you go do many things. Most say const average, right? Mm. Equal to maybe we we'll take um. Most say we want to take average of three numbers x, y, and z, right? Yeah. Now for, after this one, we got open a coily bracket. You understand? You said we got do what? We got open this coily bracket. You know that this one where I, where we code now just one line of code. That's why we don't need use coily this coily bracket. Uh -huh. You understand? Okay. So, boss, if we want to do something, we go require more than one line of code. We have to use coily bracket so that everything oh. go there inside one okay. block of code. Okay. This one, you still feel use curly bracket, it goes still work. Uh. Yes, this one, but this one line of code, though, you still feel use curly bracket, it goes still work. Okay. Yes, you feel do one. If you like, you feel come here. If I'm more even do one, so that you go see him. My copy him. Then paste down here. And comment. So this one now from here, Abby, we go yes. open curly bracket. Then here. We will close them. So Moku run them, Moku see. What did they show? Unexpected token. Where? They don't even specify unexpected token. Okay. 
Oh. So maybe they don't or maybe they, they don't okay. Mm. Okay, okay, so, I don't know why, Sha. I don't know why. But normal normal for single. Okay, okay, yes, this is it. Sorry. If you are using this coily bracket, right? You have to use your keyword return. Mm. It don't still work. Anyways. So now this one, of course, you know how to find average. You go first yes. sum everything up together. Yeah. So we'll say sum is equal to x plus y plus z. Mm -hmm. Then after summing everything, you know, say you go divide by the number of quantity. Yeah. So const uh difference uh, or average avg is equal to sum divide by three abi yeah then return avg so now this one this is an anonymous function an arrow function we did take in three parameter x y z then once we after taking in the three parameter we go sum the three next we go find the average of the three then lastly we go return the average so to call this function now or to print them out we'll do console dot log yeah then and return you understand then avg the average then remember how many parameter they take sorry average then remember how many parameter they take it they take three, Abi. You they hear me? You they hear me? You they hear me? Yeah. Okay. So average. Now, how many parameters did they take? The next of the break. I'm hearing the. Okay. So maybe we'll get four, nine, and maybe uh two, right? Now if yeah. we do four plus nine plus three, Abby. Four yeah. plus nine na thirteen, Abby. Yes. Thirteen plus three, we'll say now sixteen. Sixteen. Abby. Then yeah. coming here, this one now na the song. Abby. Yes. Good. So then the next one, the average. Go come be waiting. 16 divided by what? 3. By 3, which will give us what? Mm. Shall we shall not say go give us something? Yeah. So now you can see we have 5.33333 blah blah blah. You understand, what? Right? Yes. So now just this, now just how arrow functions be be this. But I was thinking there will be no return self like it, under the arrow function. Maybe okay. everything will just be two line, one line marks. Uh, no, the only place where it will not be return, <laughs> right? If not just one single uh, statement. Okay. You understand? Know like, like this one now. If no one's make it get return, Abby. Okay. See what you will go just do. If no one make it get return, we'll just say x plus y plus z divided by three abby then we'll remove this one yes. now once we do them like this and we run uh -huh. we will still get the same thing so that's why sometimes why solving problem is good you go step by step step by step okay than something like this short yeah. if i wait let me let me do something make i put this one inside bracket run them again okay okay good 